Здравствуйте! Это я, комиссар Бинков. Greetings, it is I, комиссар Бинков. US Amram or Russian R-77? Which air-to-air -air missile is better? The US developed several variants of Amram. Russian financial difficulties until this decade prevented the development of multiple R-77 variants. Let's focus only on latest variants of both missiles. Missiles receive data for course correction from outside platforms. They also use own radar to search for targets. Once they get closer to the contact, their radar will lock onto it. Further guidance corrections are not needed. R-77 being overall a bit larger also uses a larger radar array. In theory, that would give it greater sensitivity. But investment in weapons research after the Cold War was lacking for two decades. There is doubt on whether Russian missile's radar can match the Amram's radar. R-77-1 is a heavier and draggier missile. It compensates for that with a larger rocket motor. While Amram D uses a boost only motor, R-77-1 uses a boost and sustain motor. The R-77 might enjoy its top speed for a few seconds longer than Amram. It might be a bit better against agile and alert targets at medium ranges. Amram's motor choice is better for longer range shots. Missile uses its boost for attaining high altitude and then trades speed for extra range enabled by gliding trajectory. While a good option for slow, non-alert targets, such range additions aren't as useful against faster and alerted targets. Both missiles use fixed mid-body wings for lift, but they differ in rear control surfaces. The R-77 uses lattice fins, which provide less drag at high supersonic velocities. The cost is more drag during transonic velocities. They also enable somewhat harder turns at the cost of greater speed loss. Missile's range greatly depends on altitude, trajectory and to a lesser extent on launch platform speed. Every missile quickly loses speed once its motor burns out. With loss of speed, their chances of performing final maneuvers needed for interception of agile targets also diminish. Even a gentle but sustained 5G turn would seriously shorten missile's reach. While improved, R-77 also uses lofted trajectories it lacks GPS-aided guidance and two-way data link. Amram Launcher, on the other hand, uses these to precisely guide its missiles even at long ranges. While one can read about ranges of over 100 km, these shots mean very slow speeds, unsuitable against alert targets. They also often define range as distance between two planes at the moment of launch, not as distance the missile actually traveled. Final verdict, Amram has a slight edge. Lack of work on R-77 meant subsequent Amrams enjoyed more advanced radar and resistance to jamming. R-77-1 narrowed the technical lead, but Amram D still enjoys an edge in radar performance. Russian missile has somewhat better kinematic performance at close and medium range, while Amram more effectively deals with longer range targets.